in as much as the budget is concerned, I think uh, suffice it to say from a macro perspective that it is an extremely comprehensive budget and the proposals uh, contained therein are well thought through. Uh, and it's very clear that a lot of effort has gone into it rather than you know, deal with any topic superficially. From a, from a manufacturing perspective, um, I think it, is, uh, it would be fair to say that this is a, an infrastructure oriented uh, budget where there is a substantial allotment to various sectors, be it uh, road transport, uh, be it um, uh, power, be it other sectors. Um, and uh, I think what is most uh, more important is that the quality of the expenditure is, is, uh, is, uh, is worth noting because not only has there been a significant jump in, infrastructure, in uh, spending, but, uh, but more so when it comes to capital expenditure, which is of course a productive, uh, uh, productive spend. Um, that apart, I think, uh, you know, some of the measures which have been taken, just moving away from manufacturing a little bit, but the focus on ease of doing business continues. So the, to get uh, various uh, uh, sectoral regulations to be subsumed in a securities, a single securities code, uh, also the compliance requirement for uh, small companies being brought down, uh, I mean, the, the thresholds being raised, therefore more number of uh, smaller entities will be covered and will not have to go through as rigorous a compliance as before. All of these are, I think, uh, excellent. And from a financing perspective, not just the DFI, but uh, also the fact that uh, you know, in the asset monetization program for the first time, you will have government-owned entities like NHAI and PGCIL contributing assets to, uh, to INVITS. Uh, that is something that will really take the whole concept of INVITS forward and nothing like government-owned entities providing that, uh, that push. And along with that, of course, there has also been other, uh, other uh, points contained therein about um, certain dividend relief provided to, uh, to REITs and INVITS in terms of exemption from TDS, as far as I understand, as well as notified infra debt funds to be infrastructure debt funds to, um, uh, to, uh, to raise uh, funds by way of uh, zero coupon bonds. Uh, all of this means uh, that you know, more money will flow into, uh, into, the, comp into the country and uh, be available for, um, uh, for, for allocation towards uh, you know, long gestation pro uh, projects. And this, I think, in all, uh, all in all, boards very well.